I'm sure that we have clips of testimony video. Can we go ahead and look at them? My name is Angela and I'm making this video from Sokoto State. I'm here to thank God for all what God has been doing in my life and family ever since I joined the Commanding the Midnight Prayers on the 10th of March 2024. God has been so faithful. God has revived my prayer life. I speak in tongues now, something I've been praying to God for for a very long time as a result of these prayers. And God has healed my mom of health challenges like diabetes, high blood pressure, cough god has delivered her and god has healed my siblings too and god has been fighting her battles for us this week my mom called me that they found a bed dead inside our compound which is set on fire hallelujah on the first of may daddy mentioned daddy took authority over uncompleted accomplishments he made mention of pg degree in the name of jesus the spirit of uncompleted uncompleted accomplishments you start something you never finish it it's degree halfway postgraduate degree halfway buildings halfway i take authority over the spirit of uncompleted accomplishments and projects it is arrested right now in the name of jesus which was my case back then and i said amen I started my master's program i couldn't complete it i had to go back home but when that declaration came i told god that daddy if you will do this for me if you make me to go back to school this year i will make a video clip of my testimony and i will share it from school which is what i'm doing now because i am back in school glory be to god and on the seventh and stroke eight of me daddy mentioned my name i see someone whose name has angel inside you know that kind of a name angela angelina those kind of names so hated bitterness envy jealous I said, what do i have that i'm so hated like this it is not where you are it's where you are going i announce to somebody here we are god has ordained for you to reach no envy can stop it no jealousy can stop it no bitterness can stop it shout the loudest amen i said amen so may the plan and purpose of God come to pass in my life. God bless you, Daddy. God bless you, Ma. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is Maria Reverend from United Kingdom. I went online and discovered the commanding the day midnight prayer. And since then, I've been joining and praying and sharing the link. This month, May 24th through 25th, 2024, while daddy was reading the testimonies, I stood there in prayer, begging God to put my word concerning my sight in his mouth. And God did. As I was making the prayer, I heard God's servant declaring, And I'm seeing someone right now who is blinded by witchcraft attack. Right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know why it, whatever it has to do with this testimony. That, that attack on your sight from the witchcraft of your fa of your family i declare is retreat and refired back to hell your eyes return back to normal sight in jesus name amen maybe when we hear the testimony we'll know the reason why it is coming at this time i jumped i screamed i took my glass and broke it and popped it into the waste bin to exercise my feet and the morning of that day i went to work without my glass and i was able to carry on my work without needing the glasses. After daddy made the declaration, he said he doesn't know why he's making that declaration at that time that when the person testified, they will know that it was me. It was me that stood there begging God to put my word concerning my sight in your mouth. While that testimony was going on at the same time, Father put my word in the mouth of this man. And then God literally interrupted the testimony and healed her. The meaning of that is that she says she God healed her of blindness, meaning that she's legally completely she's blind. With that, with that, with the with the blockage of the eyes, no sight. No sight. What a faithful God we serve. I see the same God visiting someone here tonight. And if you are that one, lift your hands and give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? Can we celebrate? Creator of the 
of Haman. Every devil, every agent of the devil, every witch, every wizard, every occultic man or woman, diabolic person, evil men, just wicked people, wicked at heart, who have plot, plotted your heart. They dug a pit for you. They prepared a gallow for you. They set a trap for you. They set a snare for you. They have finished and calculated your destruction and your disaster. I declare by the mantle of God on my life, every of such evil they prepared for you for me or for everybody connected related associated with this mantle those who prepared it shall inherit it tonight they shall inherit their destruction they shall inherit their disaster they shall inherit their calamity they shall inherit their trap they shall inherit their snare they shall inherit their spell they shall inherit their graveyard they shall inherit their coffin somebody shout yes It will not take 24 hours before you begin to hear. When you hear sudden calamities in the camp of enemies and, and in fact in the camp of some friends, you hear sudden calamities, just know that that was exactly what was organized for you. That was exactly what was prepared for you. That was exactly what they wished for you. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. And by the same token tonight, I stand with the brutal apostolic prophetic mantle of fire tonight to decree their possession, their, their shining, their favor, their inheritance is transferred to you. They are, as they take over your destruction, you take over their possession. It's a supernatural reversal. Shout the loudest. Amen. It is going to be a drastic turnaround. Things just turn for you. It turned for them in the negative direction. It turned for you in the positive direction. Are you saying amen? Shout amen with a turnaround. Amen. A change just broke. 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 The frustration they planned for you just got arrested. A sorrow they meant for you is transferred to their camp. The tears they want you to shed is transferred into their eyes and the eyes of everyone connected as associated with them in the name of Jesus. You will testify. I see a marriage, a marriage date that has been fixed, but it appears like situations are coming up to frustrate it. I don't know whether it's a financial situation or family situation that's coming to frustrate it. A marriage that is already on schedule, on course. I declare that frustration is cancelled. Now, that person, they say you will never get married. Begin to prepare for your marriage. That person, they say they, you will never have a child. Begin to prepare your baby things. Begin to prepare your, 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 your naming ceremony. Hey! That person, they say you will never go to school. Begin to walk towards your admission. They say your life will never see the light of day. Begin to celebrate, prepare for your thanksgiving. Your thanksgiving. Your thanksgiving. Shout the loudest. Amen. Those of you watching at home, it looks to me like we're having a full, a full blast convention right now. Shout the loudest, amen, everybody. Is that a whole crowd in here, camera? Shout the loudest, amen, such as that. The loudest, amen. Father, thank you for the visitation of that person with the name that started an M. Leko paratana sene kelote fina kalashita no marota suvi. Lo koste frenrena no mana kalane minarata sita fetu koko sakalashite. The financial difficulty they impose on your life by witchcraft. I declare it turned around right now. They close all your doors, block your doors, block your doors, block all the openings. Like, hey! I declare it unblocked right now. I declare it unblocked right now. There is somebody here. When I say here, I mean connected to this prayer right now. If all that belongs to you had entered your hands, you will be in billions. All that you deserve, all that is yours. Not that, you, not that you are believing by faith. That is yours. You will be in billions. And I stand here by the mantle of God. I declare they are released. Really... 
financial situation that almost gave you a heart condition. Right now, I declare both the heart condition is healed and the finances are released. But I thank you for that person with the M name like a Mikael or something. Today is your day of victory. The Lord is visiting someone that has have something to do, has something to do with Shanghai. I think that is a China part or something. I have something to do like a business or whatever it is. That name means something to you. You have a connection. You have something to do with that land. That the enemy is interfering with and interrupting. And I declare that the road is clear. I declare that victory is here. Someone else, it's, it's, it's somewhere with, like Antwerp, I think that is in Belgium area. Something to do with that same town as well. I don't know what it is, but you're asking God for a visitation with any something that is connected to that to that place. I declare today that visitation is released in the name of Jesus. Somebody on life support is being set free right now. I declare you shall leave. You shall breathe by yourself. You shall you shall you shall you shall use the restroom by yourself in the name of Jesus. Arrow of sudden death and sword of death. Where you find yourself like knife, like 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 war men trying to dagger you and knife you in the dream arrow of death and weapons of war prepared against you and your family i declare it is set on fire somebody with a very good job battling with the spirit of insanity can you understand that nice job it's like working in an oil company or shell or something working in the apex bank or something but work out of office at will and walk back. The only reason why you haven't lost the job is the mercy of God. By the spell of insanity. A function of ancestral altars. I decree today that spirit of insanity is arrested. Is arrested. Is arrested. I command your mind to return back to normal. The same with a student reading a very beautiful course. Medicine and surgery. Insanity. Another one. Architecture. Insanity. Law. This one ran out of law school. Because of insanity. Today, I take authority over this spell. And as I speak about this now, any other person in that category with bipolar disorder, manic depressive illness, schizophrenia, depression, frank psychosis, mania, I take authority over you. Lose your grip of the minds. Get out and get to hell. I see another witchcraft bed arrested. This one will be arrested and roasted physically. And the person behind it will confess and die. In the name that is above every name. Somebody shout the loudest. Amen. Tonight I prophesy I announce supernatural reversals. A turnaround of situation. Haman shall inherit what he planned for Mordecai. And Mordecai shall inherit the possession of Haman. That shall be your portion. Somebody got accident, almost died, but he lived. The accident left a mark on his face. When God visited him and delivered him from that attack, the mark disappeared from his face and appeared on the face of the one who caused the accident. Every pain the devil has caused you and your family, it returns back to the devil. It returns back to the devil. It returns back to hell. It returns back to where it came from. Shout the loudest, amen. Shout the loudest, amen. Missing documents found. They will testify under the next 24 hours. So shall it be. Somebody give the Lord a 15 second 